Chairman. Madam Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 1, the Lower Energy Cost Act. I did not bring any fancy charts. I don't have any nice pictures for you to look at. But what I do want you to look through is my heart and my mind. 64 years of living. I've spent the last two years working with the other side of the aisle, watching them systematically take this country apart when it comes to our natural resources, and enough is enough. You want me to prove it? We just won the House. We have the majority now. and We have a chance to change what's going on today. Let me tell you what's going on. All we hear is the sky's falling, the sky's falling. I encourage people to get out from wherever you're hiding and look around. Smell the fresh air. Look at the sun shining. It's not falling. It's like dealing with a bunch of, a bunch of guys practicing mag magic. They want you to watch one hand while they're picking your other pocket with the other hand. I've had enough. I've had enough, and I think it's time we talk about it. They have systematically shut down our copper mine, the largest copper fine in North American continent in the world, so I understand. They've shut it down. Who are we buying copper from now? China, a communist country, a communist country. We're buying all that copper from. Excuse me, I got a problem with that. I look at my oil refineries, my gas refineries down in Alabama, outside of Alabama. Those gas refineries, you know what they're refining? Venezuelan oil, not American oil, Venezuelan oil communist country. Is there a pattern here that we should be looking at? Is there a pattern of communist regime here that we just keep getting pushed on us? I just spent two weeks in Central America trying to figure out how we can keep the communist country from taking over Central America. But we have this side of the aisle that wants to tell us the sky is falling. I refuse to believe it and I refuse to give it up. Voters made their vo voice heard last November when they sent the Republican Congress to put an end to this Democrat anti-American agenda. Amer Americans are paying 40% more for their gas since President Biden took office, and the Democrats have done nothing but add fuel to the fire to raise that price by shutting down our drilling and shutting down our mines. On the other hand, the House Republicans this week, we're moving forwards with a lower energy cost. This act, two primary objectives here. Increase American energy production, American energy production, not communist, to strip away the rules and regulations that make it harder for American infrastructure to grow this economy, this economy. I'm especially proud of this bill because I worked on part of it. The Unleashing American Act is included in this package. My bill fights back the Biden administration's war on domestic energy production by mandating that oil and gas leases sell each year in the Gulf of Mexico and off the coast of Alaska. Let me remind my friends, most of these are union jobs. Un unions are supporting you, quote unquote. Remember that, these are union jobs you're voting against. House Republicans have a solution right here in this low energy cost bill. And I encourage all my friends to vote on this bill. This bill will help end our reliance on these foreign countries, these foreign communist countries. So we need to reflect on that as we vote. If you support the Communist Party, vote no on this bill. If you support American jobs, if you support American families, vote yes on H.R. 1. And Madam, I give it back to you. Thank you.